When all else fails, clean and smooth are usually safe bets when it comes to your motion projects. And an even safer bet is to incorporate 3D into your work. So we're going to use After Effects to go through several three-dimensional clean motion graphics for you to have in your arsenal. Hey everyone, this is Jordan, Sonduck Film. If you're ready to clean up your motion graphics, drop a like and let's get started. Remember, you can download the project files from the description to follow along. The first thing we're going to work on is creating our sphere object and filling out our composition with them in a 3D space. So here I have a basic stock image of a sphere I got from a stock footage website. You can go on websites like these and just search for terms like 3D shapes and you should be able to find something similar. The first thing we'll do is highlight our shape, go up to Effect, Color Correction, Curves, Effect, Channel, Invert, and Effect, Color Correction, Tint. For the curve, we'll take the top right of the line, then drag it down to the center like this to wash out the color a bit more. For the invert and tint, we don't need to make any changes. Now that we have our effects done, right click the object, select Precompose, we'll name it Sphere, then click OK. Enable this precomp as a 3D layer, press S to adjust its scale, set a keyframe, set the scale to 0%, move forward a bit on the timeline, and then set the scale to 100%. Highlight these keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, open the graph editor tool, and pull both sides of the curve all the way inward to smooth out the animation. Now press P for position, alt click the stopwatch, and in the expression controls panel type in wiggle parentheses 0.5 comma 5 so that the sphere will have a shaking animation. Now that our sphere is complete, what we'll do is reposition it on the composition, Change the last keyframe of its scale animation to a random size like this, move its position on the timeline a bit, and adjust its Z position to give it a unique position in 3D space. Start duplicating your objects and repeating the process of repositioning them, changing their scale, moving where they start on the timeline, and adjusting their position in Z space until you have a composition filled with randomly placed objects like this. Now we have this nice 3D composition of unique looking 3D objects. You can easily change out the object used in the composition as well. All you need to do is go inside of the sphere precomp and replace the object we used with a different one and copy the same effects. Then when you go back to the main composition, it will automatically update. This works with anything you put inside of the shape precomp. Before we move on, as you may know, creating motion graphics can be really challenging and time consuming. That's why we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce amazing work under one simple subscription price. For example, you can easily preview templates, let's say from our pulse pack, and then just click apply. Now you can quickly change the template parameters and you're done. So if you're looking to get an edge in your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Next, we're going to focus on camera movement to utilize the fact that our objects are in a 3D space. Start by going to Layer, New, Camera, click OK, then go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and parent the camera to that new adjustment layer. Open the camera, Camera Options, set the zoom and focus distance to 1900 pixels, open its position, Set the Z value to negative 1800, alt click the stopwatch, and type in wiggle parentheses 0.5 comma 40 for the camera shake effect. Enable the adjustment layer as a 3D layer, open its position, set a keyframe at the start of the timeline, set the Z position to negative 700, move forward to around 2 seconds on the timeline, and set the Z position back to 0. Highlight the keyframes, make them easy ease, then in the graph editor, pull both sides of the curve all the way to the left, like this, to create a really smooth zooming effect. Now, to create a realistic focus effect, there's two ways you can do it. One way is to find the objects that are close to the camera, like this one, then go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur, and increase the blur to around 20. You just repeat this process with all of the objects that are close to the camera and you'll have a realistic looking focus effect. The other way is by opening the camera layer, enabling depth of field, then adjust the focus distance, aperture, and blur level until you've created a nice focus effect, but this can be a bit harder to fine tune. Now you have your camera set up with this nice and smooth zooming animation. Lastly, we're going to animate our title layer to finish off the composition. So here we have our two text layers. We'll start by opening the first, select Animate, Position, set the position to about 85, 
select add opacity, set the opacity to 0%, then select add blur and set the blur to 50. Open the range selector, set a keyframe for start at the beginning of the timeline, move forward a bit on the timeline, and then set start to 100%. Make the keyframes easy ease, then pull the curves inward on the graph editor tool to smooth out the animation. Now that the first text layer is animated, for the second text layer, we're going to start by creating a box shape to use as a mask, so select the rectangle tool, set fill to solid color, and set stroke to none. Click and drag to create a rectangle that covers up the top title layer and stops just underneath of it like this. Make sure this shape layer is above the second text layer on the layer list, then set the track mat of the second title to alpha inverted mat. Now open the position of the second text layer, set a keyframe a bit after the start of the timeline, move forward some more on the timeline, set another keyframe, then move back to the first keyframe and adjust its position so that it gets hidden behind the shape layer like this. Lastly, finish things off by smoothing out the position animation using the graph editor once again, pre-compose all three of these layers, we'll name it title animation, then put the pre-comp underneath all of the sphere objects on the layer list. This will make it so that some spheres appear in front of our text and some appear behind it to enhance the 3D effect. And we're done! Now we have this clean and smooth 3D animated composition. Be sure to check out the links down below to download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro extension that comes with 50 free templates. I hope you found this video helpful, and remember, always be creating.